everybody. This is uh, Mr. Lewis getting ready to teach you how to make your dragon body. I know that we've been working with dragon sketches lately, learning about different types of dragons. So this lesson is all about how to form a body of a dragon. It doesn't matter if it's Western style or Eastern style, or if you're doing your own type of dragon, a hybrid or a sea dragon or some sort of cutesy little poppy dragon, whatever you're feeling like doing, the skills that I'm going to teach you about shaping the clay today are going to help you no matter what kind of body you're creating. First of all, get your name and class on your paper plate. Whether you're in 5S or 5M, please write that down with a Sharpie. Make sure it's on the top of your plate so I can see it. Then you're going to need a big block of clay. Usually the clay comes in uh, a size like this for a dragon body because we want a lot of clay. That's where most of the body parts are going to be attached, whether it's arms or legs or wings. The skills I'm going to teach now are going to help you shape the body with your hands, which are the best tools for clay. When you get a block, you're going to need to squeeze that block out to make it skinnier and skinnier. Now, I'm leaving a little bit of clay here at the top of my dragon's body for the head. I'm going to shape the head out of this. I'm not going to make the head separate and stick it on, but I'll save that for another video. Right now, you're just squeezing the clay and getting it to extrude into a longer, thinner shape, coming to a point at the tail. You can see this body for my Western style dragon has some curve to it. So does this Western style sketch. So depending on what kind of dragon you're doing, when you're squeezing it out and making it thinner, you're gonna need to keep that in mind, where that curve is for the body, how to bend the clay while it's still soft so that you've got something close to what your dragon body looks like. Don't worry about smoothing. I've kind of started doing that, but then I caught myself. You don't really need to worry about the smoothness of your body right now. We can always smooth it later and add detail. Right now, we're just trying to get it shaped into something that we can add on to. So I'm, as I'm pinching, the clay starts to split or crack. You can smooth that to make it stronger. And remember, this clay is water-based, so it is starting to dry out as soon as you touch it. So the less you touch it, the quicker you form it and get it into something that is ready to add on to, the better it's going to be. So I've got my clay relatively squeezed out into something that I can work with. Now I'm going to do a Western style dragon with this piece of clay, but if you're doing an Eastern style dragon like this, then you can just simply make it longer and skinnier. And if you're making the head separate, you don't have to leave a ball of clay at the end. That's something you can make separate and score a slip and stick it on. But you need to, once you get the body long and skinny, like this Western style dragon, you need to then kind of think about how you're going to bend it. Now the clay is going to want to start drying out and cracking and breaking the more you touch it. So if you can bend it, shape it with your hands, Get it as skinny as you need to. I know my tail is not as skinny as it is in the sketch, but if I go much skinnier, it's gonna likely break on me. But now's the time to bend the dragon body and get it close to the shape that you want for your sketch, for your three-dimensional dragon based on your sketch. Once you've got it kind of in the right shape, then you need to start thinking about what you're going to add to it. Now might be a time where you could kind of smooth it just a little bit, but again, the more you touch it, the drier it's going to get. If you're ready to move on to add arms and legs or other features to this creature, you can switch to the video that is appropriate for you next. If your dragon body's done, lay it down on your paper plate and let it sit there without touching so you can do some more work. 